Hello everyone, my name is Dola Kwadigun. And I'm Mary Claudia Mwoga. And we are the VFX artists behind some of your favorite Nollywood movies. <laughs> We're essentially VFX artists, editors, motion graphics artists, graphic designers, film colorists, prop managers. Yeah, we do a lot of work on set. I've been first AD running the show, the IT, second AD, Chevron. So, let's talk AU. Yeah, AU, yeah, as soon as we got the script for AU, we knew it was going to be very VFX heavy. So we had a pre-production meeting with Uyi, the director, Mr. Mr. Nii, the EP, and Bani as well. Yeah. And I think from the very beginning, we decided that the website was going to be very pinkish, yeah, popular. Publish. From our research from all the other <laughs> websites. Yeah. It's so funny because we had to research so many sites. We, we researched... Um, Bigo, only, only fans. fans. This thing was literally taking us to <laughs> porn. But yeah. you know, it was important for us to do this research to see what the sites look look like. You know, to be able to get a real life match. Match. And knowing this information helped us decide to put like a pink solid on the screen for the actors to interact with, yeah. which helped us cut down roto time in post production. So and this it. was also really important because um, our main actor, you know, he had to wear glasses all yeah. through. So it was important for us that whatever we're seeing on the screen on is what's showing because this is really annoying <laughs> thing that you see in movies where you know because people love to use green you see green reflecting on the actor's face but you're seeing a totally different, different color graphics on, the, on their tv or whatever they're interacting yeah, yeah. with that alone helped us work with Barney. shout out to Barney, by the way yeah. he helped us get really steady shots so that tracking didn't kill us too much i yeah. mean there were challenges but we scale through. This helped us, you know, focus on the main stuff, knowing that the film is graphics driven. So during post production, it was very important to like finesse three important facets of the website, the profile page, the login page, the live and private interface. The yeah. wallet, because yeah. you know it was really important for us, for the audience to follow through her journey and yeah. how her money increases, it reduces, yeah. because we later see what she had to use it for, which yeah. is. For charity? Um, I hope it's not a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> we can start a special fundraiser. It was actually Oye's idea to have the comment section away from the video because she said there are two separate storytelling entities yeah. and we bought into it, which was really nice. Yeah. I think an important thing that everybody asks Auntie is how do you guys get these names? Yeah. Right? Oh, <laughs> you don't want to know the story <laughs> name. So I would give credit to all Auntie and stuff. Yes. Yeah. So what we do is we see somebody on the road and like, <laughs> like, like, give me a name. Give me a name. Like, give, me a name. You give me a name. Rita, so give me a name. name. Like, Anybody give a, yeah. Oh, you, you like see Rita and you think. What if I name this person Tari? Yeah. Or what if I change AK's name a to AK, something? AK is our, our gimmick. We're always using AK for everything. Yeah. Let's talk about our favorite defect shots. <laughs> I think for me, it's the mirror imaging. Yeah. Like we we shot this film. I was first day on set, yeah. so I know we shot this film with just one camera. Yeah. And what that meant was that when what she, what she's seeing on the computer when she's pressing the computer was taken at a different time. And somehow we were able to match them and it really enhanced it was so interesting because you, you yes. even know like it yeah. was so well matched yeah so shout out to the continuity guy and Bani, Bani again Uyi. the entire crew everybody was so great yeah. what, what's yours so mine would be when she went premium yeah all those graphics <laughs> yeah oh because you know we saw her journey begin because it had the reason she she was, was trying start, to do it yeah name. We saw how she went from this person. We saw, you know, her journey with these new people. Yeah, starting yeah. from the art to I want to see your yeah. <laughs> I want to see your breast. My my breast. <laughs> but do you think you can do that stuff for charity? Um, I'll I'll get really really thicker masks for myself. <laughs> Think I'm mad that you want Bianca God that you will not be able to recognize people me. People would know you because you have to stand up and dance. People that know your body know you. No, <laughs> I don't think it works like that. I don't think, it but I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. But I think I'll protect myself more than she did. Yeah, I think so. Because apart from, let's not do too much spoilers. Yeah. What if somebody hacks into your system and they find you? I think I can do it, but I'll find a way to protect myself yeah. more. 
Sorry, Bianca, I got to your line, boss. <laughs> me, 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 I think charity will be fine. <laughs> or, or like if he said, I will work hard and make money and give charity. No, I can't have a body for charity. Yeah, if then I'll do hard work and give it to charity. And, and, do you know how much see? money that is? It's not easy. To... I, I know you can only make that money dancing like that. Uh, you don't know that. We don't make money. <laughs> Like in a few days, she made one point something M and gave it all to charity. Oh, that, that's pretty cool. That, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> so, would you say AU is our most challenging VFX work so far? Mm, I don't think so. So, Anti has this you know, system where before VFX, before post production, you already know what you're facing. Yeah. <laughs> you already know the workflow or yeah. the idea of everything you're going to do. And uh -huh. I think that generally makes the work easy tm for tj for example you know half of the graphics let's say 70 percent of the graphics was done, done before before you know we, we just saw the scripts and we started creating graphics so it was very easy because coming to post you know we just had had that remaining 30 percent to create finish up. you know so when I, when I think about prophetess for instance mm -hmm. oh my goodness <laughs> the kind of work we had to do guys i don't know if you know this but our entire stadium we had to roto all the footballers like all every of them. single footballer oh my so goodness <laughs> i still think about prophetess and the amount of overnight work that we had to yeah. do to get that done prophetess is that film that made us have playlist like right now whenever we're working <laughs> on any vfx graphics we have our playlist, playlist we have our dance, dance breaks, so <laughs> we don't go insane it was because of prophetess yeah. it all started with prophetess because you know we would be rotoing and we would feel like we we're going crazy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but it was it was fun because you know seeing how it came together see how yeah. it played out because people were not able to differentiate and shout out to Aerie the for effects. pumping yeah. that amount of crowd uh, it's so we, rewarding because yeah. people were not even able to differentiate the between the real and the real exactly, audience exactly exactly so. so with AU I think what makes AU a tad bit easier was because we had time we shot in March yeah. and the film came out in July so we had a lot of time to just do our thing yeah so and we had yeah. we had people that were giving us names yeah you know? we had ourselves we had, you know getting this easy comments yeah from ourselves training around ideas yeah. you know because of this family we work together exactly and, you know it really helped us and it made it way easier thank you so much for an amazing night i love you hey you still showing the cinemas go check it out